Okay, so let's talk about some items that I do not purchase anymore. Since I've turned 30, honestly, it's, it was before I turned 30, but since I'm in my 30s era, we're gonna talk about things I don't buy, food, food items. I don't purchase these things anymore. I don't spend my money on them, and let's go ahead and get started. First one, who buys candy? Who still buy candy if you're an adult? Tell me, let me know. I do not spend my money on candy. I cannot remember the last time I went into a grocery store, a corner store, I don't know, a, a fair, whatever, and bought candy. Not that I don't like candy. Obviously, candy is delicious, but just knowing what's in the candy and it's really nothing absolutely nothing no nutritional benefits it doesn't satiate you i understand snickers probably satiate a little bit more because it does have those peanuts in there for protein but when you actually look at the ingredients list it is crazy the amount of bs is in candy it's a whole bunch of nothings a whole bunch of manufactured nothing so i do not spend my money on candy any type of candy honestly i used to love the cherry airheads or not airheads um, i love the airheads too but cherry cherry heads like lemon heads cherry heads oh my goodness jolly ranchers all of those honestly if anything i would purchase gum because and it's mainly only minty gum is nothing fruity or anything because you know sometimes you just just need a pack in your bag other than that pre-made frozen meals i'm haitian i was raised off of home cooked meals so since i was little pre-made uh frozen meals always tasted disgusting to me compared to my mom's cooking honestly i don't see how people do it when you have the steaks that are already frozen in the sauce with the frozen, can you even call it mashed potatoes? I don't even know, the blob that is next to it, you know, in those trays. It was always disgusting to me. It always tasted bland to me. I don't think I've ever spent my money on pre-made frozen meals. Um, I used to, you know, when I was a kid, eat like Hot Pockets and stuff like that, but I cannot even think about spending my money on Hot Pockets because it's just, ugh. like I said, if you actually look at the ingredients to these things, it is extremely disgusting to see what is put in all of these unnecessary unnatural and unnecessary chemicals that are put into our food in order for them to have a longer shelf life and honestly the taste when you don't upgrade your taste buds a lot of things just do not taste the same not only upgrade your taste bud but upgrade your knowledge on the food industry a lot of things just make you ick sandwich meat first of all bologna I left that long, long, long time ago, long time ago. Other sandwich meats I used to eat, let me, when I was back at my mom's house, not even in Atlanta, um, definitely not here. I have not bought sandwich meat in so long. If anything, I will definitely just cook a whole chicken, a whole turkey, a whole ham, a whole actual meat, a whole steak, and um, make a sandwich out of that. Even though I'm not really a much of a salad, salad, <laughs> sandwich person, I will eat sandwiches if I'm out and about and I have no other choice and I don't want to go for a very heavy option, then of course I can eat a sandwich. But for me to make sandwiches in the house is not really something I be like, oh yeah, I feel like eating a sandwich. Um, no, I'll make a panini, but an actual cold cut sandwich, nah. So there's absolutely no reason for me to go purchase sandwich meat because I'm not making sandwiches. And also sandwich meats are always filled with different random preservatives, random additives. Honestly, a lot of the meats are more additives than the actual meat. So I stay away from it. Sugar. Now disclaimer, I do have a half of jar sugar left in the pantry. I've had that sugar in there for so long, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. 
it has to be over a year now. I don't think it's the full two years. If it's not over a year, it's two years, to be honest. The only time I find myself doing sugar or putting sugar in something is when um, when I first came here and I was trying so many different recipes because the fresh food options were just so abundant. And I was like, oh, I want to try all of this. Um, so I did do like... Um, well, I tried to do banana bread, you know, certain desserts that require sugar in it. That's basically the only time. And when I first moved here and I was still eating something as that is on the list, I will tell you guys, oh, next, when I was still eating cereal. So I was, you know, I'm a cornflakes type of girl. So I like my cornflakes and sugar. So um, that's the time I normally bought sugar. But since I've not eaten cereal, which is next, I do not use sugar in anything, anything. What I have substitutes uh, instead of sugar is honey. I do use a lot of honey. That has definitely decreased my sugar intake tremendously. And, almost, and honestly, it has helped tweak my taste buds a lot because sugar refined white refined sugar is so much sweeter than honey to a point where yes you just need a little bit of sugar but it transforms your taste buds to where anything that's already sugary or has a little bit of sugar in it it tastes kind of bland you need to up that sugar intake because you're so used to an amount of sugar in your food, if that makes any sense. So you always need something sweeter and adding more sugar, adding more sugar definitely curves your taste buds to where whatever is already sugary is not sugary enough. So now that I switch over to honey, I feel as though a lot of sugary things are a little too sugary. I still love it though. I still love it because I still love cookies. Downstairs, they make fresh baked um, macadamia nut cookies and I know it has a lot of sugar in it and I love it for that it's, it's good in my mouth I love it it's good on my taste buds but at the same time me eating those cookies and then coming home and adding sugar to my meal or you know to breakfast that's a lot it's too much so I would rather get those cookies those one-off cookies where I'm just eating one cookie at the end of the meal and that's that then buy a big pound of sugar and continuously rotating it in all my meals. It's like, nah, girl. So I don't know how long that sugar is going to last in my cupboard. I feel as though if by in six months. So if by springtime of next year, 2024, I still have that sugar in my cupboard bin. I might just throw it away. Or should I do until this time next year? Let's see, probably September of 2024. Let's see. If I still have the sugar in there and I have not used it or I have not used it up, I'm gonna throw it out. But honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and try to use it because I bought it. I don't want to waste it. So maybe I'll do a couple of dessert meals or something like that to, to use the sugar up. But I don't see myself staying with sugar, powdered sugar, or grainy, granulated sugar because I don't use it in any of my meals. And it's just not the best way to intake, you know, fructose or glucose or any of that. I'd rather just eat fruits. Cereal, like I mentioned, I love. <laughs> I love me some breakfast cereal. I grew up off of breakfast cereal. So it's hard. It was hard for me to detach myself from breakfast cereals when I first got here. But breakfast cereals here taste totally different than back in the States. In the States, they're extra sugary, they're extra tasteful, like they're addictive. That's why I love them so much. Here, it depends on the cereal. Not all of them are created equally and that's just what it is that's why i mainly stuck to the plain ones and then i could add my sugar but yeah the sugary ones here are not going to be as sugary as the ones in the u.s so i feel as though that definitely helped me cut back on my cereal intake and honestly cereal is empty carbs there's 
probably fiber in them if for nutritional value. But other than that, there's no real authentic nutritional value. There's a lot of different manufactured, 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 <laughs> manufactured um, nutritional values in the cereal. So as an adult, as a 30 year old, do I really need to be eating breakfast cereal? No. And breakfast cereal, it burns so quickly in my system. So there was, there's no point for me to intake it because they're just spiking my insulin level quickly for absolutely no reason when I'm going to be hungry like 30 minutes later. So I do not purchase breakfast cereal anymore, especially as a 30 year old. Next is milk. It's all, you know, in the same line. I honestly am that girl that drinks milk all the time. And that is because a lot of the meals I make had milk in it. Even though I feel like I'm low key, somewhat lactose intolerance, but it's not to the point where it's, it's bad. You know, I just feel a little grumbling in my stomach and then that's about it. So I realized there are so many different meals I can make on a regular that has nothing to do with milk. So I do not want to go purchase gallons of milk and have it sit in my fridge for absolutely no reason. And milk <sighs> is not fresh cow milk anymore. It's a lot of different chemicals. So what I do instead now is I buy cooking cream instead of milk. So um, when I'm making my homemade mashed potatoes, I use cooking creams instead of milk. If I'm making buttermilk, then I use half cooking cream, half water in order for me to make that, you know, more liquidy consistency. There's no reason for me to buy milk, especially since I've eliminated cereal in my diet. I don't purchase cow's milk anymore. <laughs> and I used to love cow's milk. I don't purchase coffee. And this was always a don't. I've never that I could think of purchase coffee. Coffee is disgusting to me, to be honest. Taste wise, that's why I don't purchase it. And I know, you know, as a 30 year old, you would think, oh my goodness, coffee, I'm old, I'm, a, I'm old, I'm an adult. Adults, you know, growing up as a kid, you see adults drinking coffee. That is an adult beverage. Mm. I don't like it. It's, it's disgusting, it's disgusting, it's disgusting to me. It smells good. It, it looks cool. <laughs> it looks cool to sip your coffee in the morning, but baby girl, give me orange juice in the morning. Orange juice is my coffee. Fresh squeeze orange juice is my coffee in the morning. I love, I love orange juice, but I don't spend my money on coffee at all. And the last thing that I could think of, I'm pretty sure there are other things that I don't spend my money on food wise but protein bars such as like Nature Valley or any of the other protein bars that are out there. Um, I feel as though I'd rather just get my protein the organic way, the natural way. And I specifically call out Nature Valley is because I used to love Nature Valley and I still do, it's good, it's good. I haven't looked at an ingredient from Nature Valley in a while, well, since I've been very cautious about my intake. Um, so I don't quite know what's in Nature Valley, but because it is a pre-packaged, I'm pretty sure highly processed food is not, or snack, mm, it's not going to be a lot of things that I attend to now as a, an adult who is a very cautious about her food intake. Protein bars in general, for example, like um, the weight loss bars, I just see those are as unnecessary. I prefer whole foods. I prefer, I prefer foods that are grown from the ground first. And then if I have no choice, then I go to the steps of getting different highly processed foods. But mainly my goal is to eat as much, as much whole foods as possible to regulate my digestive system and to make sure, you know, your girl is is looking good in her 30s looking fine in her 30s okay so i realized a lot of habits that we unfortunately have 
is from poor diets growing up and this is the misinformation about the food industry and what we should be taking in and what we shouldn't be taking in and now that I live outside of the U.S. and see how other people or other countries are intaking and what they're intaking and why they intake it it definitely opened my mind to see that yo I've been eating a lot of garbage throughout my years growing up and honestly it's just the lack of knowledge but it's okay because now that we have so much more information in front of us in our hands on a regular that we know to do better and that is my overall goal to be honest is to definitely do better as I age on earth.